um, actually try to move somewhat back towards schedule here. There are two, uh, not three, panelists uh, on this panel. We've got some very interesting things to show. Uh, first off, uh, Sergey uh, Brin, uh, co-founder of Google, uh, with some very interesting show and tell. Sergey. Good afternoon, everyone. Can everybody hear me okay like this? Anybody can hear me? Okay. Uh, actually, itself. I'm curious. These are a little bit, the, the sound here is a little bit annoying. Can you hear me better like this? Oh. All right, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, uh, I have three technologies to show you today. I am Sergey Brin from Google. How many people here have uh, used Google? Oh, wow. Okay. Who's that one person in the back? I'm going to have to <laughs> recruit you next. Uh, so first of all, you may be wondering why you're looking at a Netscape window on the background. Actually, anyone, can anyone recognize what operating system that is? Okay, I heard a few shouts. That's right, it's Linux. Um, I, I, will, I would have done some searches here today. We're running a little bit short on time. Um, the, interest, the reason this is interesting is because this is running on a little computer I have right here. I'm going to try not to break it as I show it to you. Can everybody see this? <laughs> Oops. Actually, I just disconnected the power. That's a little bit sad. No, I didn't disconnect the power. We we're just changing video. Never mind. Um, so anyway, the computer itself is actually even smaller than you see here. Most of these are the connectors. And I'm currently going to shut it off and disconnect it from its connectors. So the Netscape you saw running was running on this computer right here. You guys can see it on the camera, or you can just see it right up here. Okay. <laughs> um, so this, this comes from a little company um, started by a friend of mine called Tiquit, T-I-Q-I-T dot com. And uh, the point is that pretty soon everybody's going to have a PC in their pocket. So that's why I find that interesting. Now I'll tell you what Google is doing with mobile devices. Has anyone here used Google on a mobile phone, on a WAP phone? OK, we have a few hands. Now, Google employees aren't allowed to raise their hands, so we have even fewer <laughs> hands. Um, so Google's been out on, uh, on WAP phones, actually also on Palms, on the OmniSky service, um, on a whole range of wireless devices, um, starting from uh, about May of last year. And we have one new thing to show you today in, in, in addition to Google's basic WAP search. And I'll show you that. Um, so one important thing, and if I can get the camera on here, uh, when you do a WAP search on Google, you actually get the whole web. Uh, over one billion HTML pages that we have indexed. And Google will automatically translate it to WML for you. The, oh, I guess I was too thirsty. Um, so we actually give you over a billion pages available on a WAP phone. And uh, starting uh, just a couple weeks ago, we launched the beta of a new service called Number Search, which means when you're entering your search terms, and I'll enter something here. Uh, here you can't see right now. But I only hit each key once, and I get numbers showing up uh, on the display, and then I do the search, and Google will figure out the best results for your search. Um, so you don't have the annoying, you know, have any of you used WAP? Anybody been irritated that you have to hit the key, you know, like five times, and then wait five seconds, and then hit the key again five times? So you don't have that anymore. And I don't know if you can read this at all. I just searched for Sprint. Um, all I had to type was uh, seven, 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 um, four, six, Eight, <laughs> which uh, it's very easy when you type here, just like dialing one eight hundred number, um, and I got the sprint results. Whereas you know typing SPR on a WAP phone normally is extraordinarily difficult. Uh, it could cost uh, cost many hours of therapy to get over. So anyway, this is this is another thing we've been working on. This is available at mobile.google.com. So if you go there on your WAP phone, you'll be able to search the whole web. Uh, you'll be able to use the number search features. It's in beta right now. 
Um, and it's, it's, you know, when you're on a beach or when you're not next to a normal computer, it's a pretty good way to access the whole web. Um, people can't really see this, so I'm not going to try to demo too many more searches, but I recommend you go to the site. Um, finally, for mobility, the last piece of technology that we are working on at Google Labs, because to be mobile, you not only have to have wireless connectivity, but you have to be able to get around. I said, this is why it's important not to fall down on stage. No. <laughs> um, so we actually do have a research group at Google, which is still a relatively small company. Uh, and they don't spend too much time developing things like these, uh, but they do work on a lot of the technologies like the number search that you saw and future wireless access technologies. Now, I'll be asked to perform gymnastics. <laughs> yeah, sadly, there's no easy. The question, the question everyone is how do you make it go back in? And sadly, it requires leaning on something, unless you're really well balanced. So I will use the table here. Anyway, thank you very much, and on to the next speaker. Thank you, Sergey. Uh, Sergey, what's uh, yeah, so just a quick answer. How do you navigate the web using speech? Um, so at Google, we've put in a lot of work so you can navigate the web as an HTTP and HTML using a WAP phone, which only supports WML and WAP by nature. And I would expect we would also support speech in the future. So you can navigate the entire web using speech, fill out forms, do all of those things. And, you know, it's going to take engineering, but it will happen. Um, so the, the question is, you know, how do you actually specify which link do you want to go to and so forth? I mean, I imagine you're going to, the links always have names uh, if you see links, so saying them out would work. Um, there's usability work to be done there to make that work really well. 